Good day, Willow's family. God will shine his light. Advent time is a time for family, blessings and love. Each and every family is excitingly preparing for the festivities, planning gatherings and decorations. This is a time to remind us of the remarkable birth of Jesus, who is the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness. John 8 verse 12 What an amazing scripture to read. I am the light of the world. While I'm writing this devotion, listening to the sweet sound of the birds, I think, yes, Jesus is the light of the world. But how can I spread the good news that he is the light and he will always be the light in the world? to mankind. So, I decided that I would compare a lighthouse to the star of Bethlehem. I have always been attracted to lighthouses since I was a little girl. My home is filled with either lighthouses or artwork of them. The artwork of some is of just a lighthouse shining brightly over a calm blue sea. Another is of a raging storm, waves crashing against the cliffs. But yet, one can see the glimmer of the light, shining and navigating the way. A lighthouse, to me, represents Jesus, his love, light and protection. During the Advent season, we are reminded about the joyful birth of Jesus. The shepherds, the angel, the wise men, and the star of Bethlehem. But how does the star of Bethlehem and the lighthouse coincide? A lighthouse navigates ships to safety and back home. The star of Bethlehem navigated the wise men. During the time of the birth of Christ, there was no cell phones or Google Maps. So, how did the wise men find their way to Bethlehem and to the stable? God timed it perfectly. He opened the heavens on a cold and misty evening and shone a light, which was the star of Bethlehem. The star of Bethlehem shone so brightly that it led the way for many to Jesus. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Isaiah 60 verse 1 to 3 Star of wonder, star of light, guide us to our perfect light. We have all been through difficult and dark times in our lives. It is wonderful to know that God will always be there to offer comfort. We do not need to be afraid, as he has been with us from the beginning of time. Do not be afraid. Have faith and trust in the Almighty. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Psalm 27, verse 1. As we approach 2023, we can walk with confidence and faith, knowing Jesus is our friend, our comforter, and our saviour to guide us along the way. May God bless you all. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Thank you for always being the light in our journey called life. Thank you for being the light through the storms and the darkness. We are grateful that your unconditional love provides us with the strength to carry us through the storms so that we can be still, rejoice and smile through all our days. In your loving name. 
Amen.